But yeah, another thing. Uh, I think I was telling everyone I had a mystery leak. Well, when I was getting those tailgate clips for the truck, I decided to get a power steering puller. Puller made in China, junk AutoZone, $30. Anyway, check out the seal on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's definitely wet and it's leaking, so. Yep, this pump is going to be sent out for a rebuild. It's probably going to California. Yep, that's probably out wines and everything. So I'll take that out. I'll swap out those lines, and then maybe in a week or so, we get this thing back together. That'd be good. Sucks though. I did this job on a uh, another car before, and as you see on an LT lawn, you do not have to remove the coolant hoses. I'm sick and tired of draining the coolant out of this car, as you probably could realize by now. But yep, comes right out. Little finagling with your hoses, and there is your pulley. I might have so much time, I could probably strip and paint this thing too. Make it look real nice. Yep, there was a little bit of oil too, like right in this area over here, but I just wiped it away. And that's what happens as it goes, it just whips up. Whips up all over here, and have a disaster. Just like I got room, I moved this thing. So I have room to jack up work on these lines they run underneath the engine bay. I'll show you. Till then we're taking this thing apart. I gotta take off the alternator or disconnect my battery. Then I can unbolt all these lines, I mean those bolts, cram a piece of wood in there and then get that back on. Damn. Okay, I think uh that was yesterday. Yeah I had the same with the other movie when I make this. Um, I had a leaky pump, so took it out, took it out, and it's being sent to Lee Engineering for a rebuild. I don't know how much it's going to cost, it's probably going to be a lot, but it's a lot better than those uh, parts store pumps. I should have showed you how much play the, uh, the old pump had, it was almost about nothing. You get a parts store pump for an LT1 in one of these cars or Camaro or something like that. I believe it's the same model pump, if not very similar. They, um, they have a lot of play in the shaft, wiggles in and out way too much, and they whine. That means the plate's worn in the pump. My plate is probably awesome with this leaks, but that's good. As you see, I cleaned most of the accessory bracket. There was this power steering muck everywhere, even around the AC compressor. I got that mostly clean. I have a different uh, reservoir, actually the original one off this car. Uh, I'm off that back on. This is off a Caprice wagon, my friend junked with uh, 215,000 miles on it. It still works. I have the original one somewhere in the original cap. Might just use that thing. Um, Alright, here's another thing. This is the um, hose that goes to the reservoir. Reservoir. To the pump. These things I don't make them anymore, and they're molded. But mine is actually cleaned up pretty good. And what you what you can do with um, one of these cars, this little protective sleeve that it's in too. What you can do, still oily. All right, what was I gonna say? <laughs> what you can do is pump basically sits right over here. That's where the line comes through, and this holes would be stashed down here. Um, Disconnect it from the reservoir, and once you get that high pressure line out, high pressure line, uh, yeah, you see it right there. High pressure line right there, sitting on accessory bracket. Once you get that out, you can rotate the pump, and you rotate it out like this way, kind of. Then you can get actually this hose to the accessory bracket as well, so you don't have to um, play around with this little band clamp. Not band clamp. Uh, what the hell are these things called? I forget what kind of clamp these are called. Spring clamp. That's it. Spring clamp. Spring clamp out because this end, uh, yes, this end is metal. And there's, there's some heat and everything. It just gets really, really, really stuck on there. And it makes it difficult to remove. So, you got that out. That was a cake. Cake walk. And when you crack that line too, I didn't show it. But, um, you pull the pump out a little bit. And it's like support with a screwdriver so it doesn't wiggle around. You get that plate off in the pump. And you, uh, you just crack that uh, high pressure line off. What I always do with these cars, I just use a pole. 
pole and either a flare wrench or actually with this thing I used a, I was risky I used a, uh, a regular crescent wrench just an open end I just put it on there but these wrenches snap on they're pretty good they don't really flex as much other brands they're more made of like a cast material and they flex and you can round off the edges so as you see I got my lines off the pump made out of pump no way high pressure lines that go to the pump off the uh, steering box that was pretty easy nothing was even rusted on this car which is awesome I figured out that on what is this? this is the return line you can get it right in the uh, between the frame and this inner fender over here you just turn the wheel turn the wheel back you get it right there so you don't have to remove the ABS module when I did the lines on this wagon over here I removed the ABS module, but if you do it this way, you don't have to. So, I learned something. And the high pressure line you can just get from the front, which is pretty simple. So, less things you have to take off, the better. And now what's left, I have to jack up this car. And there's all little clips around the cross member, and these lines go whoop, up and over. Return and the, uh, the high pressure line. Return line too. I do with that freaker. See, this is still attached, but that goes to my cooler. To my lines. I want to do this all hard line one day. In my gigantic power steering cooler. Um, oh, here's your turn line right here. Right there, you see it. I had to cut it off the barb. And that thing just sits right there, and then I just barb it. Or miss. So, it's going to work. Clean the belt, too. The belt had all power steering fluid all over it pretty good now, I probably shouldn't. Eh, that's what I'll do. Perfect. Look at that. Close the hood and I'll rip it. Belts are expensive. You ever price one of these things? They keep on going up and up. Like that belt cost me like, uh, like $38. It used to be like 20 bucks back in the day. Gates. So, that's our update. I get a little more cleaning to do. Maybe I'll clean up that. Just thinking about polishing the alternator too. I have so much time so this pump comes back. I don't know. I might do it. I kind of like it dirty though. Chrome and shiny stuff don't get you home, right? Yep. A lot of tools. A lot of mess. Get it done. It's gonna be good. At least we found our mystery leak finally. See you next time. Maybe I'll have a pump. Come on. Alright. Still have this thing apart. Clean my belt. Use soapy water. Rinse it up real good. This belt probably only has about, I don't know, 1500 miles on it. The uh, the one I had before this actually tore. It got uh, all tore up because it was slipping all down here for like 1300 miles. And uh, yep, it got eaten up. I changed the belt tensioner. It was pretty good. The belt was uh, shot before that because I ran a crappy belt tensioner on a brand new belt, so, yep. That was my problem. Uh, what did I do? Cleaned up a lot of this mess. The power steering fluid and uh, transmission fluid, I don't know what's in that stuff, but it takes the wax coating off the frame, so I repainted this. Yeah, a little too shiny. It'll dull out with heat and age. Turn to that steering box. Um, fish my lines through, which is pretty easy to go right around over here in Tennessee where that rig is, I gotta remove it. So it's painting over there. There's one of the high pressure and low pressure lines wrap around the compressor on the car, back to the steering box. The lines are good. I was a little bit uh, nervous that I almost thought that thing was going in crooked, but it's good. I backed it back out, put it in. And it went in a lot easier because I must have busted up some of the rust that was in the top. Probably should use a thread chaser, but you don't got that stuff. So, pump down California. That made it there. So, it's good. You see, my new lines wrap around. And again, see all that new paint over there? It looks a little too shiny. I know. Probably gonna come back and undercoat that so it'll give it a little texture. But well, it's better than being a bare frame. Say so I put one bracket over there. I can still put my other bracket where that hole is. That's what holds it up. 
Oh, that's another thing. Oh. Broken. That's another thing with the um the lines that you see of this curl underneath there. I didn't even jack up this car to uh, change the lines. I'm a skinny guy, I just uh, squeezed underneath there in <laughs> the little space. Uh, took it out, put it back in. Cause I honestly, I hate working on jack stands. I hate it. I'd rather squeeze underneath the car and jack it up. So, that's what I did. Grease. This thing's gonna be in a wash bed after I'm done. That's another thing. I'm trying to, uh, the, uh, the company who built my pump, I'm trying to sell me a new reservoir. It looks awesome. It's like, uh, all TIG welded, aluminum, almost looks like receiver dryer like that, but it has a little cap on the top, it goes right here, and it's all baffled, but I can't afford that at this moment. This project right here has been funded by trash picking, believe it or not. Yep. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so it's almost like a free project. So they got more gunk over here, that frame, I think I'm going to have to paint that too down there. Yeah. Damn. Uh, and a little rubber thing too you gotta put back on because that line just hits on top of their AC compressor. It's pretty clean though. I got a little dirt spot over there but I'm not gonna really do anything. Alternator I was gonna polish but it's cleaning up. I think it looks fine as is. Plate's all cleaned up. This I was gonna paint too but I'm just gonna leave it as is to pull it. So, that's it for now. That's our update. I think I'm just gonna put this video up and then I'm gonna put it all back together. I'll make another video of that. So, that's it. I'll take it apart. Took me about 30 minutes to get that pump out. Probably about, I don't know, 30 minutes for those lines and I was taking my sweet time cleaning up stuff. Yeah, and I think the, what, the book rate is uh, like four and a half hours just for the pump. I think the lines are about an, another half hour each or an hour each, I forget. So, do the math, it would have been a lot of money. But I do everything myself. Um, ASE certified. Yep. <laughs>